your blog about Service, and it appears to be, now be the semi-official home of Dave Sim. Uh, that's true. Definitely the uh, as close to official home for uh, Dave Sim online as you can. Do you know if Mr. Sim still does sketch commissions for people? I've looked all over the site and cannot find any information about this. Uh, would the best thing uh, to do be to ask Mr. Sim directly about this by sending him a letter? Thank you for your blog, and any response that you have will be valued. Thank you, David Brown. And thank you, David, for asking the question. No, this situation that I'm in right now, trying to uh, um, not have the risk deteriorate uh, any faster than it's deteriorating, and trying to uh, keep it at a, at a as close to stable as I can get. Uh, when I do drawings, it has to be uh, maximum bang for the maximum bump, uh, buck uh, that I can possibly do, which is uh, why when you see uh, drawings by Dave Sim on a moment of Cerebus, it's gonna probably be either Spawn and Cerebus or Sarah Spawn or uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, or Service Number One, and now Service Number Two, because uh, sad to say, that's still really all that Dave Sim is known for in terms of, hey, yeah, I'll buy one of them. So uh, that's one of the reasons that I'm going to be putting in some time on uh, the high society prints and uh, having that as a perennial seller at service overload, Waverly Press's service overload. In terms of sketches, uh, no, how, however much money I would have to charge you in order to do a sketch, it would have to be on the basis of, well, this is uh, using up risk on myself, and I'm really, really trying not to do that, uh, and it's only going to be one drawing for one person. So, uh, unfortunately, it just doesn't, uh, doing sketches doesn't meet the criteria of uh, if I am drawing, it has to be something that uh, A, a lot of people will buy copies of. Again, Service um, uh, and Spawn, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, or Service uh, Number One. We're hoping it extends the service number two, and then it extends the service number three. We'll find out uh, when we get to when to get to those Kickstarter. But uh, outside of that, uh, I'm really not doing any drawing at all. But uh, thank you very much for your interest on that. Uh, Chad Lambert has a Cerebus in hell pitch. My pitch is simple. From the cockles of Satan's sack comes Jingles the Undead. Uh, I like it already, although I was going to do a, uh, a picture of Satan with, uh, with a word balloon going, does a sack have cockles? <laughs> I, I, I was wondering about that. It's like, I know that you have the cockles of your heart, but uh, I think we're probably all in agreement that Satan doesn't have a heart. So maybe, maybe his sack is where Satan keeps his cockles, and we're not going to go any further with the punchline on that one. Uh, Jingles isn't a zombie. He's brought back to life a few minutes after he died, uh, proving a minute in the infernal realm feels like a lifetime. Uh, he's not in the real world very long before immediately returning to hell to share his tale of resurrection to no one who cared. Uh, there you go. That's a, that's about the way uh, the world is uh, about resurrection in general, and we're, we're 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 all on the same page now. Hell with a question mark is a lot like here. Uh, it would have brief cameos from both Cerebus and Possum at Large. Uh, Possum at Large, of course, is Chad, Chad Lambert's uh, uh, creation, mainly because Jake T. -T, -T Possum has experience bouncing back and forth from the infernal realm to our living infernal realm. Uh, pay 
paper thin idea? Yeah, but I can make it funny, he says with a smiley face, cheapy emoticon, which is actually just uh, a colon and a parenthesis. Uh, thanks, Chad. So, um, yeah, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm in. I'm, I'm up. And this is, this is a general rule about, uh, about Cerebus and Hell. If you've got a Cerebus and Hell concept, and uh, you want to you want to pitch me on it? I'm always looking for uh, for more grist grist for the mill. We're um, we're just coming down to uh, as far as I know, finishing up uh, 2022. Uh, the furthest no, the the earliest uh, scheduled uh, book, uh, according to David Birdsong. Uh, would be October 2022. So it really means uh, only got to get the October, November, and December uh, issues done. So uh, as far as I know, that's that's what we're doing. Uh, Kurtz versus Kurtz, number one. Um, Hello, Dolly, number one. Um, and um, David Birdsong's romance book. Are all, all flailing in love? Are are all in the process of being done? So uh, kind of kind of jazzed about that, but uh, it's it's a relentless process. It'll be January 2023 before we know it, and uh, the sooner I can get the January 2023 service mail number one done, the happier a camper I'm going to be, and. It would certainly be uh, more than swell to have Jake T. Possum, Possum at large, make a return visit to Cerebus and Uh I think this is you writing here, going, uh, uh, since this is how CIH with a question mark is getting pitched now, Steve Swinton.